next guest, Tyler Lepley, is also challenging what masculinity means and showing that being in touch with your emotions actually means making you a stronger man. Tyler is starring in the hit stars drama P Valley, portraying Diamond, the tough but sensitive ex-Marine and former strip club bouncer who sets the internet on fire with every scene. And P Valley, by the way, recently renewed for season three. Thank you very much. And that's not all. Tyler is starring in the prime video hit show Harlem, portraying Ian, a restaurateur and dreamer who takes a leap of faith, leaving his fiance for a chance to be with his old flame. Take a look. And I know that we can't go back, but I would like to move forward. You sure you want to be with someone who called his wedding off the night before? Even though he knew six months ago he didn't feel what he should for his fiance? I mean, I knew six months ago I didn't feel that way for him. Congratulations on the new baby. Right back. Thank you. Look at you in Miracle. Hey, look at us right there. Your new little boy. Oh, my goodness. That's uh, Zyla Lepley right there. Yeah, he about five months right now. Five months. Mm. And, and Zy. Yeah, Zy. Zy. is his middle name, but uh, his Lay. first name is Zy, yeah, with an X. Tell me X a little I. bit about the name. What made you? You know, we were just shopping some names around. That's just the one that, uh, that's the one that works. <laughs> that's the one that works. I love it. So, we're talking about masculinity. You have three children, three boys together. What, from where you started it, one daughter, two boys. Yeah. Um, where you started and what you were told about masculinity versus what you're telling your two sons now. Um... You know, I was always a, um, I always felt like experience was my greatest teacher. Mm. So, you know, when I looked around, I listened to the status quo and whatnot, you know, a man was always supposed to be someone who, who solely provided, protected, and, um, you know, handled business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's, you know, that's definitely, uh, you know, one side of the coin. It's definitely one side of the equation. Um, but just like the juxtaposition I look for in some of my characters, you know, I have, I have a, a a pretty good contrast as well. So, you know, what I'm communicating to the next generation is that we have to have, uh, you know, a sense of the vulnerability to go along with the virility. So uh, Leo is five. Leo yeah. is five now. Mm -hmm. How do you express that? Because obviously Zai is too small now, only five yeah. months. But Leo is five years old. Yeah. We saw that little boy meditating at four. What do you practice or show Leo? <laughs> He's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Look at your proud dad. Oh my goodness, that was his first football game, yep. What do you say to him in, in practice of being vulnerable? Um, so right now, uh, so with him at five, um, you know, he's, he's, he's learning, again, through experience. He's, he's, a, he's a little bit like me, he's gotta learn the hard way. Yeah. Uh, but the one thing that I'm communicating with Leo right now is that it's, it's okay to give yourself patience and grace while we figure these things out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and his, his thing at school is, you know, he's been acting out a lot and it's been coming off in a, um, you know, an aggressive way. Hmm. And to try to figure out where it's coming from and to, you know, um, to get to the bottom of it, it's gonna take a little bit of time. You said, it reminded you of yourself, I know early on in your life, you were the only black kid at your school, you were bullied, and it caused you to act out in different ways. And now you're seeing that um, for whatever reasons with Leo. I think that's a powerful thing. When we come back, we'll talk with Tyler about that. And also, of course, his other job outside of being a great dad, his job in two shows we can't get enough of, Harlem and Bee Valley after the break. Welcome back. We're continuing this hour discussing modern masculinity with actor Tyler Lepley. You were talking about your boy, Leo. He's five years old, struggling in school in the sense of just capturing emotions. And you yeah. said that is something you related to in your own youth. Yeah, yeah, definitely. One, one of the ways me and Leo um, are similar is that, you know, when I was having some difficulty growing up, the way that it was coming out was just, it was just aggression. Because you were was, seeking validation is what you said in an interview. Yeah, for sure. And, um, you know, just whether I was seeking that or trying to just figure out my next step and, you know, having difficulty, like I said, I didn't really have the full skill set that I needed 
to articulate everything I was going through. Mm. So, you know, as an Aries, as a boy, I was just, I was fighting all the time. I was just a class clown, all that, you know. But there's something going on underneath There's always that. something underneath. Yeah. And when people see that, they think behavioral, but there's always something underneath. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about your character, Ian, uh, on the hit show, Harlem. And uh, you hey. said <laughs> uh, in an interview with Essence that Ian is relatable to a lot of men because he shows his emotions and doesn't have all the answers. Uh, but he still gets the girl, as you said. Um, <laughs> but you, you see him as this relatable person. Yeah. And that's why people connect with him. Yeah, I think what makes him most relatable is the fact that he has that contrast. He has that juxtaposition, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? When it's time for war, he's going he's gonna to go there. When yeah. it's time to dream, he's got that. But when it's time to, you know, put his eyes on his feelings and articulate what's going on, he's got that as mm. well. And I had somebody come up to me recently and they were like, um, man, you know, you really, uh, you really putting on for us, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you, you have these feelings, you really love your girl, you know, um, you're dreaming big, you end up with the girl, so it's still cool. <laughs> So he was saying, like, you know, he, I'm, I was making it cool, or Ewan was yeah. making it cool to, to have feelings. I love you know that. Yeah. Well, listen, P Valley, season three, hey, Diamond. It's all the way, it's all the way. It's all the way. Okay. I don't want to give guy. too much away, but your cast, were, they were on at the beginning of my season. We were rooting for season three. The announcement mm. came out. Everybody went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond is in a jam right now. I don't want to give too much away. Major cliffhanger at the end of season two. What happens with Diamond? He's, di he, he's in a jam. First of all, Diamond, <laughs> Diamond's in the trunk, first of all. <laughs> um, you know what? Uh, shout, big, big shout out to Katori Hall and all the yes, creators. Yes, Katori Hall. Uh, you know, I, I love Katori. And I know she's gonna pan. Yeah. I know she's gonna pan a, a, a just a great season three, but she is pretty tight-lipped about what's going on. So basically, you won't be allowed on set. Tori will ban you from <laughs> set if you I'm don't. I'm until I go back. You know. Can um, you believe the response? That I mean, it's it's incredible. You know, anytime you put yourself out there, whether it's what you do, what I do, what we all do, um, you know, there's an aspect of it that that uh, you know we don't control. You know, with, with art when we release yeah. it to the audience. So to have it, um, you know, to have it come back with with such positive. Reviews and yeah. people hold it with such high regard. It's just been it's been the biggest blessing to be able to um, You know just showcase showcase humanity. Yes, and, and that's what the show yeah. is. Well, congratulations not one but two <laughs> hits on your hands and a beautiful new baby Oh, that is good. I have to give my love to Miracle. Yeah. <laughs> You're amazing girl you, Thank you so much Thank you. Tyler's final episodes of Harlem season two premiere this Friday time video